Hey again, Kevin Yannick of Pitt and Quarry Magazine. We've got Anthony Konya with us again of Precision Blasting Services. Anthony, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Pleasure to be here. Anthony, we've been talking about education in the blasting world a little bit. You talked about your boom event that you're looking at fall of 22 for, but, but uh, I know your passion about educating people online. Or you see that as a place where you can meet some needs that uh, maybe are being unmet at the moment. You've got your MicroMasters program there. Tell us a little bit about that. Maybe Pitt and Quarry viewers who aren't familiar with it, what can they take away from it? Yeah, so we have a philosophy here that we want to be teaching, not testing. And this is a problem that we've seen in the education industry a lot is most institutions have some type of hard test that they have to go through. And the entire syllabus and criteria is designed to follow this test. And we see this even in some of the blasting industry, for example, our blasters licensing tests. It's often that there's a set guideline that we're specifically teaching to pass that. And what we want to do is we want to actually teach people how to use these products, how to go into the industry and effectively work with these, uh, not just to pass that sort of test. And so part of that is we wanted to launch this online education platform. Now, we've had in-person training for about 40 years in our company. Uh, we have a facility called the Abla Academy of Blasting and Explosives Technology, where we do these in-person sort of engineering-based seminars. The big issue came about, though, that there's a lot of, as, as the new innovation in blasting comes out, and as people need to get this training, it's very difficult for them to constantly be taking off time and actually coming to a facility, spending, let's say, a week sitting in a classroom, learning a principle when really they need to be out on a bench or at a mine site and they need to be doing you know, what, what their job is. So we developed this whole idea of online education and we started that back in 2015. We launched our first course then. And since then we've been constantly working to improve it and improve just the education process and the teaching process. And so right now we've launched several different courses on our website, academyblasting.com. And what they are is 24 seven available online courses. They're all self-paced. So at any time you can log on there, you can do this from your home, your office, out on a bench, and you can actually log in, get access to those materials, watch the lectures, take the short quizzes. Uh, and our goal is to break every lecture into about 10, 15 minutes in length. So they're manageable to do while you're in the middle of a day or something. Now, the other push for this was to lower the cost of education because, you know, not only do you have to take the time off? Not only do you have to pay for going to a seminar or training event, but you also have to pay for all the travel costs associated with that. So this online education, really the thing that we're excited about is it takes that cost of training, it dramatically drops it. We're seeing a, a decrease in cost of training by 20 to 30 times the normal cost from this. And it allows you to do this at your own pace throughout the year. And really our goal is to bring this this information to the market where a blaster can come in and they can be constantly taking these courses to really advance their knowledge and education in this arena uh, without necessarily taking uh, time off to go and, and jump to a seminar that they may only be able to do once every two or three years at the best case. Anthony, do you feel like there's a shortage of, of blasters out there? Or do you hear continuously that they're in need of people and, and maybe a lack of education has kind of contributed to that over the years? Yeah, I definitely think there's a shortage out there and, and that's due to multiple reasons, but what we're seeing is the average age of the blaster is constantly increasing and this has been a problem for at least the last decade, but uh, it's, it's been an issue that's been noticed for the last several decades. And you know, what we're gonna have to see eventually is we're gonna have to see young new blasters coming into the arena. So at some point, we're gonna have to fill these gaps because we have to have blasting we're not going to get rid of blasting or blasters anytime soon. Um, and so when we're bringing in these new blasters, there's going to be a huge education gap. You know, a lot of sites, they're using the same blaster that's been blasting that rock for 20, 30 years. And that blaster knows that site really well. But when someone new comes in, they're going to have to make their own decisions. They're going to have to come up with these processes. And so I think this educational requirement and need is just going to increase as we see younger people coming into the blasting industry, being out on the bench and having to make these, decision pro uh, th these decisions and develop these processes for how they're gonna manage the, the bench 